So, in the last two or three slides, we have discussed uh, Abdul Kalam's father, Jainul Abdin. In the next two slides, we will be discussing his mother. Very little information about his mother is given in our lesson. Her mother is Ashiyama. You can see that photograph, uh, that is a very old photograph when and the little boy there is Abdul Kalam himself, that is his mother on the right hand uh, side. Uh, Ashiyama was an ideal helpmate to Jainul Abdin, that is mentioned in your text. By ideal helpmate, uh, we will come to ideal helpmate again when we go to that uh, line there. The first line repeats almost the same thing that we have uh, written at the top there. Ashiyama and Jainul Abdin were widely regarded as an ideal couple. So, in two different places, they have said ideal helpmate in one place, in another place in the text, uh, uh, he has written ideal couple. So, what this means is, they were a perfect couple. Uh, th uh, now, a perfect couple would be uh, a husband and wife who were very understanding to each other, who shared their problems, who tried to solve whatever problems that occurred in the family uh, through discussions between themselves. They probably did not have too many arguments or quarrels or fights like there uh, are in many uh, families. So, uh, the reason why Abdul Kalam says this is probably they were a model, Jainul Abdin and Ashiyama were probably a model uh, husband and wife to the entire locality. Everybody looked up to them. So, another thing they have said about her is, uh, we have added that comment generous in front. Uh, another thing that has been said about her is that she fed far more outsiders than all members of the family put together. That means, uh, in their house, now they would cook obviously for the family, only have breakfast, lunch, dinner, jati meals or khansa, the ghar ko lagi the paksa, taro ghar ko lagi banda pani zyada se, bairo ko manse ko, manse haru ko lagi paktiare. That means they must have had a lot of visitors in their house, and uh, this particular line uh, mentions says that she would feed a lot many outsiders than all the members of the family put together. Now, one thing which is not given in the text and which I am sharing with you, uh, because I have read that uh, uh, book which I showed you in the first screen, Wings of Fire, when you extract Lieko, Abdul Kalam had uh, quite a large family. Apart from his parents, they, they were four or five uh, brothers and sisters. And so, Although it was a large family and probably we do not know, it is not mentioned in the book, they were probably a joint family. But apart from those people, a lot of outsiders were fed in the house which tells us that Ashiyama was a very generous uh, person. Then the last sentence there is, uh, now uh, she. Now, we already know that Jainul Abdin did not have much education, we have discussed that. Whereas, uh, Ashiyama, whether she went to school or not, we do not know, but she came from a distinguished lineage, that is the term used in the book. Distinguished lineage, uh, one ko, yo Ashiyama ko, parents, uh, forefathers, aru, baje baraju, aru, unaru, uh, Ramro gargo theere. Ramro uh, bannu gartha, they were probably well off. Uh, they were probably educated, so the word distinguished lineage is used. And why does he and how does he prove that uh, she came from a distinguished lineage? One of her forefathers, uh, Ashiyama's uh, grandfather, probably great grandfather, he had been given the title of Bahadur by the British. Bahadur is a title that the British government used to give uh, to uh, Indians who served well for them. And so, one of her forefathers had received that title and therefore, uh, uh, probably that is the reason why uh, Abdul Kalam says that she came from a distinguished lineage. Now, in the next uh, slide, we are still with Ashiyama, uh, you can see the photograph on the right hand side, it is about the food uh, that uh, he ate with his mother, that Abdul Kalam ate with his mother. Now, uh, probably the menu that we have in the photograph there does not match with what is mentioned in the book, but uh, I have tried to get you uh, uh, the, the South Indian kind of dish that they have on banana leaves and that is what is mentioned here. Uh, the title we have given to this particular slide is Ashiyama's uh, 
cuisine. Uh, it means uh, the, the food that she prepared. Now, this is the other thing about Ashiyama that is mentioned in the text. Kolam le bonek sa tiyanira that he normally ate with his mother sitting on the kitchen floor. Unar ko chula ma, ghar ko chula ko, bhui ma basa ra ule ama chai sanga praya ajusto khana khan tiyari. Ani khana ma kye paskin tiyo that is mentioned there. These details you must keep in mind. She would place a banana leaf like you see in the picture there. She would serve those three uh, items that you have in the middle of that screen. Rice and aromatic sambar, rice, chamal, bath, poyalio. Bath songa, sambar, sambar is the South Indian dal. Amiliata dal bonzo, unarli sambar bonzo. Aromatic, you can find the meaning on your own. In, it is there in your, this word is taken from the text. Aromatic means very. Uh, Say having a very tasty smell, एक दम ही मीठो दाल उन्हें रे दाल सांबर लाई दाल ये दाल लाई वहाँ in South India they call it सांबर that's one thing the second thing we have written so that you know the 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 different items that he used to eat the second thing is a variety of sharp homemade pickle गर्मा बनाए को आचार उन्हें तो थप्रो वैरायटी को and the third thing is a dollop of fresh coconut chutney South Indians have a lot of coconut. Agi Jainu Labdin ko amilia isko agadi ko slide ma apni banyo. That early in the morning he would go to bring coconuts from that grove that he owned. So probably the coconut came from there. And a dollop banye ko amilia jaise chomsi le ghiu ugaunda jati niskin ja banana bada. That the the ab ek dega in if you say it in Nepal Nepali ma banye ni ek dega justo ulai. कोकोनट को चटनी कोकोनट को अचार हाल दिन दिए सो दैट इज द फूड दैट ही इट वेर डिड ही इट इट ऑन द किचन फ्लोर सीटिंग ऑन द किचन फ्लोर विथ इज मदर एंड व्हाट डिड ही इट इट ऑन ही इट इट ऑन दैट बनाना लीफ नाउ सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट आशियामा दैट वी हैव इन द टेक्स्ट नाउ द लास्ट थिंग दैट आई हैव हाईलाइटेड एट द बॉटम ऑफ द पेज इज अ सेंटेन्स टेकन फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट नाउ दैट सेंटेन्स सेज I would say mine was a very secure childhood materially and emotionally. Now, if you are told to prove this sentence, अब यो क्वेश्चन आउट सा बनेगा ही ना ऐसे री यो कोटेशन दिए रहा तो आप ऐसे लाए प्रूव दिस स्टेटमेंट बन्नु सकता और समथिंग लाइक दैट materially and emotionally secure childhood. वो उले अब्दुल कलाम लिखे बंदे इस आ मोस्ट यानु माउंड दाखिरी मो हुरकिन दाखिरी मेरो childhood से एक दम ऐ सेफ थियो एक दम ऐ सिक्योर थियो. कसरी इन 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 व्हाट रिस्पेक्ट्स वाज इट सिक्योर बोथ मटेरियली एंड इमोशनली मटेरियली बने को इन टर्म्स ऑफ थिंग्स दैट मनी कैन बाय एंड इमोशनली यू अंडरस्टैंड why did he have material security? Material security Abdul Kalam ko kina thiyo banda kiri Rameshwaram thiyo time ma ek damai backward must have been a very small it is called a town today. But uh, during that time, when Abdul Kalam was growing up, it must have been a small village. I mean, Abdul Kalam ko gaur ko photograph or rupani. I mean, display gorio. You, when you look at that house, you won't say it's a rich house. It is a house which belongs to a person who has some money. Uh, we would see, we would feel that it is a, a poor man's house. Yani ro materially secure kina bandai sa bani. Unlike other people who lived in that locality. Unlike other people who lived in most of India during the time of the British, Abdul Kalam's family had enough money. That is mentioned uh, in the previous slides also. Ullai usko garma luxury oruthiya na. His father avoided all luxuries, but he provided food, clothing, and medicine manager. So usko garma khana ko kami koi le pani baana, luga phata ko kami koi le pani baana, bimar honda, dabai ko kami koi le pani baana. Ani Abdul Kalam we know is a scientist. Ani scientist banau nu u dherai pornu pario. He studied masters, M.Sc. gare, then engineering oru gare. Kyo oru garau ne paisa pani waar ko matyo. So therefore his uh, uh, childhood was materially secure. Abo emotionally secure, and also another thing we can say regarding material security is about the the house that Abdul Kalam grew up in. Usko banexa he grew up in a pakka house made of limestone and brick banexa. That tells us that most of the houses in that locality must have been uh, 
uh, thatch houses, uh, houses that were made of mud. Uh, so, they were material security man. Emotional security, Kosari Boyo, emotional security again mainly it came from his parents who were an ideal couple. There, were, there was no, uh, no uh, trouble in the house, there was, uh, there was no disturbance in the house because the parents would never fight in front of the children. They were, they, they, they were very good parents. His father we already know is, was a very, very religious person. Uh, we also know that uh, in, this, uh, in the previous screen we also know apart from themselves a lot of outsiders ate in the house. So, when Abdul Kalam grew up, he had this material and emotional security. Yo, khalki question aaye bani, yo kuraaru discuss kono boy. So we finished with uh, this Ashiyama also. Now, this is the part. Now there are two or three paragraphs in your in your lesson which are, I will say, difficult to understand. Optero ki na cha banda ke re. He here in these two or three paragraphs. In these three paragraphs, he talks about uh, uh, about uh, religious philosophy. He talks about spirituality. He talks about prayer, the meaning of prayer. Ani yokura ro. I'll try to explain the best way I can, even though I know that I am uh, I am not uh, the perfect person to be explaining this. I am not a very uh, a holy person. But anyways, in another part now. The rest of your, 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 your lesson is directly related to Jainul Abdin. Now, Jainul Abdin, we discuss this in the beginning. discuss this in the beginning. This is the prayer, the spirituality, this is the Jainul Abdin, throughout that, that, that autobiography, the Wings of Fire, one, the June kitab sir, the Dolly kitab, man, Jabba Ulle scientific experiment or go kura goreksa, missile or go kura goreksa, usle je project or rugarsa, ani the project or go kura gorda, apni gari gari usle Abdul Kalam comes back to what his father used to tell him when he was growing up. So we can safely say that his father had a very great influence upon Abdul Kalam, not in terms of science, not in terms of what he studied and not in terms of becoming a scientist, but in other terms of becoming a proper human being. So, therefore, in our uh, uh, lesson that we have to study, throughout the book, if you read the lesson carefully, you will see that uh, everything that the lesson deals with is what Jainul Abdin has told Abdul Ghalam. So, this relevance, we have given uh, the title as relevance of prayer. And we have also said this is Jainul Abdi's interpretation. Now, Abdul Kalam, because he grew up in a house which was very religious, uh, we already know that Abdul Kalam's father would get up early in the morning and the first thing he did was to read the namaz. Uh, in the evening also, he would go to the mosque, Masjid Janthyo, Yokura Thasa, Amile Gori अब यहाँ निरो चाहे प्रियर प्रार्थना चाहे किन गौर सुम हमी अनि प्रार्थना को इम्पोर्टेंस क्यों त्यो कुरा आरु जाइनु लाभ दिन ले अब्दुल कलाम लाई बताए को वन स्मॉल थिंग व्हिच वी मिस्ड आउट इन द प्रीवियस स्क्रीन जाइन निरो चाहे मिले मस्जिद को फोटोग्राफ देखा है क्यों जाइन निरो से गौर रहूं नाले प्रार्थन मस्जिद में जे प्रार्थना आरु बंसा उन्हीं अरे जब नमाज़ आरु पढ़ सा उन अरे त्यो अरबीक भाषा में बंसा सो दैट फर्स्ट लाइन सेज अब्दुल कलाम डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ व्हाट प्रेयर्स दे सेड इन द मॉस्क इन द अरबीक लैंग्वेज उले त्यो भाषा बुझे ना जस्ट ए आमिले बुझ दोनों। I am a Buddhist. By birth, I am a Buddhist. मेरो घर में लामा रुचालों से मर दा, मंसे जन मिंदा, बिया उन्दा, लामा आरो पोर्स पूजा रु कर दा आमिले लामा चालों से। लामा ले घर में आरो पूजा कर दीन जो उसको भाषा में त्यो स्क्रिप्ट पोर्स मोग ये वड़ा पुनी बुझ दीना। Same thing happened with Abdul Kalam. Or in 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 Hinduism. जब वो पंडित अरले वहाँ ले संस्कृतों कोरा आरु छोड़ दिनों सहमिले जब घर में इन हिंदुइज्म वेन आरती हो रु घर दाखिरी क्या बंदे से त्यो आरती में बोल रहे हैं मैं बुझ देना तेरे से नहीं अब्दुल कलाम लेपनी मस्जिद में बने को प्रार्थना रु बुझते ना 
but this much he understood that this much he was sure about that whatever he chanted whatever he said in arabic reached god that is a like vishwas theory now the rest of the screen is telling uh, is a is a uh, a description of the importance of prayer now he is told when abdul kalam asks his father abdul kalam alik thulo bhaye pachi hami kina yatro bigna kina daily masjid janchau masjid ma gaera kina prarthna garchau bhanera usko alik buddhi khule pachi jab abdul kalam le yo prashna haru usko baba lai sochcha jainul abdin gives him this particular answer so jainul abdin tells abdul kalam that there is nothing mysterious about prayer why does abdul kalam think that prayer is mysterious because he cannot understand the prayers which are said in arabic now what his father would tell him is prayer enabled a communion of the spirit between people now this is the part which i uh, said is uh, spiritual religious religious philosophy and therefore it might be difficult to understand a more simple language ma ab nepali ma yalai se translate garera bujhaune koshish gardai chu communion the word communion if you check in your dictionary the meaning might have been given in your book also uh, i'm sorry i don't think the meaning is given in the book but you can check in the dictionary communion ko meaning yani ra maile abo chhotkari ma ke lekhdek chu bhane it is the spiritual sharing of intimate feelings or thoughts the important part of that meaning is the word spiritual when we think of a communion jun chai christian church ma huncha roman catholic church ma uh, if you are a catholic then you will know what a communion is uh, it has something to do with uh, with religion something to do with god ab ya ule ke abdul kalam ko bau le ule ke batauncha hami le prarthna garda kheri chai hamro atma spirit comes together in a communion so very simply ab nepali ma bhannu ho bhane jastai abdul kalam le usko masjid ma muslim har le masjid ma prarthna garcha hindu haru mandir ma gaera prarthna garyo christian har le church ma garyo hai buddhist har le monastery ma garyo hami le jab kunai pani jat ko hos kunai pani dharma ko hos hami jab prarthna garchau prarthna garda kheri chai hamro spirit chai युनाइट हो अरे द स्पिरिट हम आत्मा जस्ते मेरे बुद्धिस्ट आत्मा उसको के हिंदू आत्मा उसको मुस्लिम आत्मा उसको क्रिस्टियन आत्मा जब हमी प्रार्थना करो भगवान जब हम प्रार्थना करो स्पिरिट हु एक दे कम टुगेदर देर इज अ स्पिरिचुअल यूनियन अफ आर सोल्स अफ आर स्पिरिट्स सो वाई डज दिस हेपेन यो क हमी मैं प्रार्थना करें मैं बुद्धिस्ट प्रकार के प्रार्थना करें उसे अब्दुल कलाम ने मुस्लिम प्रकार के प्रार्थना गये हमी प्रार्थना कराखे हम आत्मा हम स्पिरिट एवट हो अरे इट डज नट मैटर विच रिलिजन यू बिलंग टू आर स्पिरिट कम टुगेदर वाई डू दे कम टुगेदर बिकज द नेक्स्ट लाइन्स एज वेन वी प्रे जब म प्रार्थना करी ट्रांसेंड आर बॉडी एंड बिकम पार्ट अफ द कॉस्मस वेन आई प्रे i will leave my body i will go beyond my body my spirit will go beyond my body and it becomes part of the universe so ab yo concept bus ab eti clearly wan le explain gareko abdul kalam le explain gareko chha na and this is my understanding universe ma janchha ari cosmos that uh, universe let us imagine god is there somewhere in the universe what he might be trying to say is when i pray my spirit goes to that spirit in the universe which is actually god when a muslim prays his spirit also goes there when a christian or a hindu or a sikh or a person who follows any faith prays his spirit goes to the same uh, cosmos the word used in the book is cosmos you could call it the universe or the universal god so maile buddhist prarthna gare mero spirit kahan jandai cha to that universal god uh, abdul kalam le usko muslim islam ko prakar le wa le prarthna garyo usko spirit kahan jandai cha tei universal god mai janda cha that is what he might be trying to say here and the last line says and in that state 
in that state bhannale maile prarthna gari raheko state ma when i am uh, trying to communicate with god when i am praying there are no divisions of wealth age caste or creed and that final uh, part is the important thing that he has said here so whether i am rich or poor whether i am young or old whether i belong to a high caste or a low caste or whether i follow uh, islam or buddhism or christianity or any other religion creed bhannale hamro biswas hamro belief so it does not matter what kind of person i am as long as i am praying my spirit it gets united with the spirit of all other people in the world who are praying and all our spirits become one in the universal god that is what uh, he is trying to say in this part regarding the relevance of prayer and one last thing in that uh, sentence first second third sentence on the screen त्यहाँ निर कम्युनियन अफ द स्पिरिट बिट्विन पीपल भने छ पीपल हाइलाइट किन गरेको भन्दाखेरि पीपल डज नट हियर सिम्पली मिन यू एन्ड आई पीपल हियर मिन्स एभ्रिबडी हु इज प्रेइङ यहाँनिर हि इज नट जस्ट रिफरिङ टु द इस्लामिक प्रेयर्स एन्ड द पीपल हु फलो इस्लाम मुस्लिमहरूको मात्रै कुरा गरेको होइन बाई पीपल ही मिन्स एभ्री पर्सन हु इज प्रेइङ हु बिलिभ्स इन गड whatever god that might be every by people he means every person who believes in god so nepali ma feri last ma ke bhanchu bhane hami le prarthna garnu ko importance ke ho bhane mo prarthna hami le prarthna garda kheri hamro spirit chai gar universal god ko ma pugcha aru ko pani tyai pugcha and that is the final important thing why because at that particular stage hamile prarthna gareko stage ma it does not matter whether we are wealthy whether we are old or young whether we belong to a high or a low caste or whether we follow any other religion i hope this uh, has been somewhat clear mane je explanation diye alikati bujhnu bhayo la kina bhane arko screen pani the next slide is also uh, Uh, equally difficult because i told you he, here he talks about philosophical things and philosophy is always uh, uh, very uh, quite difficult to understand it is not impossible to understand but it is it takes a little bit of um, logical thinking and reasoning and a little bit of uh, concentration to be able to understand these things now uh, this is another paragraph another difficult passage i told you in the lesson Now here we did not write a heading. We've started with that quotation. That your quotation, Gita, but I hope your screen match. I mean, like, explain or make courses or that is how many the spiritual concepts. Now his father used to tell Abdul Kalam about spirituality. This is what I got. Slide my family. Here, prayer or make or what? Prayer or no make or what? That your Abdul Kalam like what I go. His father like join up in the. अब यहाँ सम पार्ट अफ दैट स्पिरिचुअल कंसेप्ट इज एक्सप्लेन टू अब्दुल कलाम इन सिंपल तमिल तमिल अब दे लिव्ड इन तमिलनाडु रामेश्वरम इज अ टाउन इन तमिलनाडु एंड सो दे यूज द तमिल लैंग्वेज फर कम्युनिकेशन उतृभाषा तमिल हो अब अब्दुल कलाम को बहू ने तमिल भाषा में यो अब्दुल कलाम यो कुरा क्लेन गयो भादा खेल अब्दुल कलाम्स फादर वॉज अ काइंड अफ मुस्लिम स्कॉलर एंड ही प्रबली न्यू हाउ टू रीड द एरेबिक लैंग्वेज अरेबिक में सेक्रेट टेक्स्टर में वहाँ को कुरान में जे कुछ लिखे वहाँ तमिल भाषा में ट्रांसलेट कर अब्दुल कलाम बताइ सो दिस पार्ट is about that complex complex means very complicated difficult uh, spiritual concepts yaha bhaneko spiritual philosophy agi maile bhaniyale and in this page we are trying to explain that now this is what his father tells him every human being is a specific element within the divine being that's a sentence in itself it is difficult to understand divine being bhaneko uh, let us imagine uh, डिवाइन डिवाइन बिइंग ब्राकेट में मैं गड बनेर ले इट इज वेदर इट इज गड अर नट यू हेव नट सीन गड आई हेव नट सीन सो वी डू नट वी कैनट गिव हिम अ पर्टिकुलर शेप एंड इन इस्लाम दे डोट गिव गड एनी शेप दे डू नट 
even imagine uh, the 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 physical contours of God. Bhagwan is to cha. I'm just saying Hinduism, Buddhism, ma, yeah, even Christianity, ma. Bhagwan is to cha. When I close my eyes, I can imagine him because we've seen photographs of our gods. But in Islam, they do not have a photograph. They do not give a physical image to their god. So. यानी र गॉड ना बने र डिवाइन बीइंग बने एक्स अपॉइंट एक्स सॉरी इन द स्टोरी सो व्हाट ही सेइंग इन दैट सेंटेंस इज वी आर ऑल पार्ट एवरी इंडिविजुअल एवरी पर्सन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ गॉड भगवान को ये वड़ा रूप हो आमी ये वड़ा सेन हो टुकरा हो सो in that red uh, uh, sentence, uh, which is something that I have added, I have said each individual is a part of the whole. By whole, we mean the complete thing that is God. Complete is God. And I am one small part of that God. I am one of those parts that makes God complete or whole. So that is what he's trying to say. Every person is a small element or is a small part of the divine being of that whole that means uh, God in our understanding. It does not matter what kind of person he is, what kind of individual we are. We say sometimes, I mean, एक और का समा बात कर दाय कोई बाला कुरा कर सों जस्ते माले कोई मानसे देखे आ त्यो मानसे मोडरर उल्ल भगवान को मानसे मारे को सा उल्ल नराम रो काम सब पे जिंदगी भरी उल्ल नराम रो काम मते गोरी रहे को सा उल्ल क्या रे भगवान में विश्वास कर दाय ना उल्ल लाय भगवान को डॉर्स है ना सो आई इन माय ओपिनियन इन माय ज because he has not lived a very good life and I am judging that person. Yani ra kya bandha isamani? It does not matter what kind of person you are. Hami jasto sukai man se hoon, what kind of time, place, situation or stage of life bane sa. It does not matter when we were born, whether it is now or a hundred years ago or say a thousand years ago. It does not, time also refers to our age. It does not matter whether I am very young, I am still a child or whether I am a very old person about to die. Situation, what kind of situation I have been born in? Situation could mean everything. Situation, I am born in Darjeeling, Abdul Kalam was born in South India, somebody born, somebody else is born in Europe or America. Uh, another kind of situation could be uh, being born rich or poor. Another situation could be being born as a Buddhist or as a Muslim. So, these are different interpretations of the term situation or stage of life that the individual uh, is born into. All these things are irrelevant. According to his father, Abdul Kalam's father, it does not matter what kind of person we are, it does not matter where we were born, it does not matter what religion we follow. Hami kaan zanmyo, hami hamro dharma kiyo, hamro jat kiyo, हमरो उम्र क्यों त्यो सब इले क्या ही फर्क पड़ता है ना इट डी ओनली इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड विद रिगार्ड टू दिस इज डी ओनली इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट एवरी पर्सन एवरी इंडिविजुअल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ डी यूनिवर्सल और डी डिवाइन बीइंग सो वी शुड नॉट बी अफ्रेड व्हेन डिफिकल्टी सब एको जिंदगी में डिफिकल्टी जाऊँ से आऊँ सा डिफिकल्टी सफरिंग्स प्रॉब्लम्स सब एको माऊँ सा सो व्हेन आई व्हेन अ लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टीज और प्रॉब्लम्स कम्स इनटू माय लाइफ इवन दो आई मे बी वेरी वेरी रिलिजियस इवन दो आई मे बी प्रेइंग ऑल द टाइम स्टिल इफ आई हैव डिफिकल्टीज आई विल स्टार्ट having doubts about माय गॉड आई मे स्टार्ट हैविंग डाउट्स अबाउट माय गॉड सो व्हाट ही सेइंग इज it does not, everybody will come across problems and sufferings. We should not be afraid of them because we must understand that we are part of the divine being. So that is what he says. And finally, what he says there is, we must try to understand the relevance of suffering. Mero zindagi ma jaba dukha aunsa, mero zindagi ma jaba problems aruunsa, mai ne tiyo problem ko relevance, importance ke ho, त्यो बुझने कोशिश करनु पड़ सारे एंड 
he says adversity provides us with opportunities to introspect bane sa to analyze our thoughts feelings and behavior uh, we've written that uh, in, at the bottom of that screen whenever there is adversity whenever adversity banale uh, difficulties problems sufferings whenever there are sufferings in our life then we should take it as an opportunity to introspect to look inside ourselves mere malai mata kina dukha bhako teso ghar ma kina bhana haina u lai hudaina malai mata bhai rancha bhanera na sochera kasari sochnu parcha re jab yo dukha haru auncha hamro jindagi ma hamile afu bhitra lai afu afu bhitra gara afu lai question garnu parcha re afu lai sodhnu parcha re yo dukha kina aayo and that is how we must try to come out with a solution we must not put the blame outside ourselves to other people or even to god so that is a uh, 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 an explanation of uh, spirituality given to abdul kalam by his father so i hope uh, Uh, in these two screens i have been able to to at least help you to understand some thing or the other about uh, uh, the relevance of prayer and the spirituality the next screen is slightly easier not as uh, the concepts are not as difficult as in these two screens but still you need to pay attention to this part also now the title we've given here is faith healing or intermediary now in this part of the lesson uh he uh, abdul kalam talks about uh, his father's uh, healing properties jab ule yo kura haru explain garcha jainul abdin le abdul kalam la yo kura haru explain garcha abdul kalam le ke bhancha usko baba lai bhane tapai le yahi kura haru chai jun kura haru malai bhannu hudai cha yo kura haru chai tyo manche har lai kina na bhannu bhako jo chai tapai ko ma help mangnu auncha help mangnu ko aayo those people who came with bowls of water उसलाई मस्जिद बाहर उभि रखे हुए है बोल में पानी बोक विच वी हेव अलरेडी डिस्कस यो कुछ मैं जे भूँ तो मैं यही कुछ कें एक्सप्लेन कर दिस इज द रिप्लाई दैट हिज फादर गिव्स टू अब्दुल कलाम न उसे यहाँ के भैया मैं तो काम कर्चु तो मेरेकल वाई डू आई वर्क एज अ मेरेकल मैन वाई डू आई ब्लेस दैट वाटर विच दोज पीपल टेक बैक टू देयर इनवैलिड्स तो एक्सप्लेन कर टू एक्सप्लेन दैट दैट दिस इज हाउ ही बिगेन्स वेन मैन इज अलोन ही लुक्स फर कंपनी ये बुझ्न भब म एक्ल हो साथी खोज्छ आई नीड कंपनी मैन इज अ सोशियल एनिमल आई कांट लिव अल अलोन When man is in trouble, similarly, jassari manse eklo unda kiri ulle saathiyo rukhocha. Tesiri nae jaba manse dukhama parsa. When he, when there is trouble in his life, he will start looking for help. So, if there is a problem in my life, I will start looking for help. Kola i sochu ma family members lai sochu, saathi ba arlai sochu, expert arlai sochu. So I start looking for help. Now when, so while looking for help, man reaches a dead end. The word used in the book is impassive. They like dead end bone. So my idea, jab man se le dukha parda kiri help ko lagi saata khoji rancha koi bala saata paunda na usko problem solve hunda na. Tethi bala kya korsa? Tio man se le he wants to escape from that problem and so he starts looking for other ways to solve that problem. Now before we go to the next thing. एट सानो एक्जापल टू ट्राई एंड एक्सप्लेन दैट कंसेप्ट आई बिकम सिक म बीमार भिमार भैया मेरु दवाई दोकन में जु मैं यो हो दवाई दिन दवाईवाला दिशा मैं दवाई खाए तो दवाई जाती भैन एक हफ्ता पीछे मैंखि घर को एडवाइस गयो यो खानु त्यो खानु भन्यो त्यो खाँदा पनि भएन दबाई खाँदा पनि भएन त्यही म कहाँ जान्छु डाक्टरकोमा जान्छु आई गो एन्ड भिजिट अ पर्टिकुलर डक्टर दैट डक्टर गिव्स मी अगेन मेडिसिन्स टेल्स मी टू डू अ सर्टेन टेस्ट आई टेक द मेडिसिन आई एम स्टिल नट क्योर्ड सो आई गो टू अनदर डक्टर समबडी टेल्स मी ए त्यसकोमा पो गएछ त्यो डक्टरकोमा जानु पर्दैन भनेर कसैले भन्छ म त्यहीँ अर्को डक्टरकोमा जान्छु त्यहीँ त्यो डक्टरको ट्रिटमेन्ट हुँदैछ तर पनि मेरो बिमार जाती भएन तैदि म कंसल्ट आई एम लुकिंग फर हेल्प बिकज आई एम इन ट्रबल 
अर्को को ले एउटा अर्को डाक्टरको रेफरेन्स दिन्छ ए त्यो भन्दा भयंकर त त्यो डाक्टर छ त्यो डाक्टरले यस्तै तिमीलाई जे भएको थियो त्यही बिमार उले यसरी जाति गरायो भनेर रेफरेन्स दिन्छ आई गो टु 3 अर 4 डाक्टर्स एन्ड आई ट्रैभल ऑल ओभर इन्डिया म वेलोर गए साउथ इन्डिया गए डायग्नोज भएन बिमार म जाति भएन घर फर्केर आए त्यहाँ कि मेरो त बिमारै जाति भएन मैले फ्यामिली साथी भाइहरुसँग शेयर गरे शेयर गर्दाखेरि के भन्छ उनीहरुले कोसैन कोसैले हैन तिमीलाई दबाईले भएन भने त्यत्रो डाक्टरहरु गरेर पनि भएन तिमीले एकपल्ट धामी झाक्री गर भन्छ हाम्रो ट्रेडिसनल यो अब स्पिरिचुअल मेडिसिन मेन तिनीहरुलाई कन्सल्ट गर भन्छ सो एज अ लास्ट कोर्स बिकज आई ह्याभ द्याट प्रब्लम बिकज आई ह्याभ द्याट प्रब्लम एन्ड आई वान्ट टु सल्भ द्याट प्रब्लम I am looking for any means that will get rid of that problem. So when the doctors could not, these doctors in your example, your doctor le malai zati bano nu sake na mane malai kya gorda isu dhami zakri pati lagda isu. Now tei dhami zakri ko kam chay yani ra Abdul Kalam ko baule gorda isa. So that is what uh, the kind of ex- uh, the situation that people used to come to him for. So he says in the next part there. Every anguish, longing, or desire finds its special healer. Ulai ke banza Abdul Kalam lai bau se likhe banza. Sappai sappai manse ko jee jee problem aur unza. Tio manse le tio problem solve gornu khosda kiri khosde 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 khosde. Eoda tio healer ko ma pukse pukse abo. According to his father. So that healer, I told you, that special healer, jun intermediary bane, faith healer bane, tio kam se janu lab din le. त्यो एरियामा गरिरहेको हुन्छ सो हाउ डज ही डू द्याट ही इज द इन्टरमिडिएरी बिट्विन द डिस्ट्रेस्ड पिपल द डिस्ट्रेस्ड भनेको जो मान्छेहरुमा प्रब्लम आएको छ एन्ड द डिमोनिक फोर्सेस हुम दे वान्ट टु 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 सेटिस्फाई दिज आर टर्म्स युज इन द बुक सो आई थिंक इफ आई एम गोइङ टु अब्दुल कलाम फादर आई थिंक माई प्रब्लम इज बिकज अफ सर्टेन डिमन्स Who are unhappy with me? Demon mane ko ko rakse saru. Mero abo le pandit le yera rabani wala tobe ko yo kundali ma yo esto bago sa tio rakse sli duka di rako sa amal tio sune wala. So tio rakse amal ekie biswas kordo isu mero yo problem zati ba ko sa ina yo problem ka ko sa ina kina mane malai tio rakse sli sotai rai ko sa. Ani tio rakse hotau ne kamse ko le kordo isu. Jainu Labdin le gaur daisa. So Jainu Labdin is the intermediary between me, the affected person, the distressed person, the person with trouble, and that demon who is giving me trouble. So how does Jainu Labdin uh, try to get rid of the de- demon from my body is through prayers and offerings. So when I go to Jainu Labdin carrying that bowl of water, Jainu Labdin will say prayers. Jainu Labdin le prathna aru bancha, tiyo pani ma aula du bancha, tiyo pani ma ile ghar lage, tiyo pani aap khanu parcha ki, jiu ma chharginu parcha ki, kosa ila chadonu parcha, tiyo kitab ma bhanek chai na. So that water will somehow help to get rid of my demons and that is the work that Jainu Labdin would do. Now, Abdul Kalam, he tells Abdul, Abdul Kalam la uleke banza, but this is not the correct op- approach. This is not what we should do. What is the correct approach? The correct approach is that at the bottom, this is what he is told, Abdul Kalam is told. Correct, correct approach kyo, we must learn to understand the difference between a fear filled vision of destiny, these are words taken from your book. And the vision that helps us to look for the enemy of fulfillment within ourselves. I mean, like simple basa, I may explain what no. But my approach towards my when I go to Jainu Labdin, hoping to get that miracle, that approach is wrong. Kina, I think your approach kina wrong. Oh, banda kiri. My likhe samji raksu, malai rakse sali. Those demonic forces are controlling me. So I have to get rid of those demons. Who will help me get rid of the demons? Jainu Labdin. Tio biswas bo gera mo Jainu Labdin ko ma zandai su. Taro yo approach wrong are. Correct approach kiyo are bane. Why do I become sick? Mo bimar kina hundai su. Now here I am more focusing on my mental state of mind. Not the physical illness but mental illness. I have a fear filled vision of destiny. Mero bhagya yesto raisa. Aha, bholi ko din ma kye unza wala. Maile oe seri dor boki rai. 
bhane malai yo problem haru auncha indirectly that is what jainul abdin is saying so what must i understand is the vision that helps me to look for the enemy of fulfillment within myself what jainul abdin is saying when i have am in that um, in that mental state in that troubled mental state i must not go to him or to some miracle man to solve my mental illness i must be able to look inside myself and search for why i became sick mo bimar kina bhaye bhanera maile aafai aafu bhitra gaera aafai le sochera tesko answer nikalne koshish garnu paryo in most cases what is the answer that we will get is that the enemy of fulfillment is within myself mero dushman ko ho tyo mo bimar hunda kheri mero dushman ko ho mo bhitra nai cha maile nai aafu lai nai bimar banako that is what is there in the very last sentence I have certain अब तो अर्क इक्जापल लिये मेरे कैटा डिजायर आई वॉन्ट टू मेरी दिस काइंड अफ वुमन आई वॉन्ट टू हेव दिस काइंड अफ चिल्ड्रेन आई वॉन्ट माई चिल्ड्रेन टू बी सो सक्सेसफुल सो सक्सेसफुल मेरे एट अब टारगेट यो डॉक्टर हो इंजीनियर हो यो अफिशर होट इज मई टारगेट रिगार्डिंग माई चिल्ड्रेन माई टारगेट रिगार्डिंग माई वाइफ माई टारगेट रिगार्डिंग माई ओन से सिक्योरिटी मेरे यहाँ घर होती वर्ष में यो घर हो मेरे यो गाड़ी हो मेरे घर भि यो कुछ हो सो आई हेव अल दिज डिजायर्स एंड आई कैन नट विथ द काइंड अफ मनी दैट आई अर्न एंड विथ द काइंड अफ मनी दैट मोस्ट इंडियंस अर्न विथ द काइंड अफ मनी दैट मोस्ट पीपल इन 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 रामेश्वरम ड्यूरिंग दिस क्या अब्दुल कलाम्स टाइम वेन ही वॉज ग्रोइंग अप द काइंड अफ मनी दैट दोज पीपल हेव दे कुड नट फुलफिल अल देर ड्रीम्स जस्ट एज आई कैन नट फुलफिल अल माई ड्रीम्स एंड वेन आई एम अनेबल टू फुलफिल दोज ड्रीम्स देन व्हाट विल हेपन आई बिकम आई हेव अ वेरी ट्रबल्ड आई हेव अ वेरी डिस्ट्रेस्ड स्टेट अफ माइंड एंड दैट इज वेन दिज प्रब्लम्स कम टू मी एंड वेन दिज प्रब्लम्स कम टू मी आई थिंक इट इज डी बोन्स दैट आर Uh, troubling me so i go to jainul abdin in the hope that he will try to solve them what jainul abdin is saying to abdul kalam is actually those demons are not outside those demons are inside you so if you can find the the those demons inside you if you can find the enemy that is inside you then you don't need this kind of an approach so that is the correct approach that he has been told towards the end of that screen uh, i hope this has been clear now the last screen this is uh, uh, the the last part of your lesson the last paragraph here right at the top you see this is the effect that all his father's teachings has had upon abdul kalam himself abdul kalam lai ke ke kura haru batak cha yo agi ko screen har ma hamile padyau spiritual yes, first screen ma hamile prayer ko prayer bhaneko ke ho what is the relevance of prayer that has been explained by his father uh, then uh, those spiritual complex spiritual concepts also explained to him by his father and this part about uh, the correct approach and the wrong approach also explained to him by his father yo tin ta example ule use garek cha yo katha ma ani tapai ko lesson ko last paragraph ma ke bhaneko cha yo teachings haru yo je kura haru lai usko baba le sikayo jainul abdin le sikayo tesko asar abdul kalam mathi kasari pareko cha now this is the last paragraph In the world of science and technology, Abdul Kalam has tried to emulate his father. Abu Yani, the important again, uh, a very important thing is Abdul Kalam is a scientist, a very, very highly respected scientist. Right at the beginning, we even said he has been given awarded the Bharat Ratna while he was still alive. Abdul Kalam Khosrow Agadi ne wale India ko highest civilian award. भारत रत्न पाने भाई तेस को बारे में मैं अगि भे ही इज अ वेरी वेरी फेमस अ वेरी इंटेलिजेंट अ वेरी ब्राइट एंड इनोवेटिव साइंटिस्ट इन इंडिया अफ अल द साइंटिस्ट वी इफ यू आर आक्स टू नेम वन इंडियन साइंटिस्ट द 
person who will most probably come to your mind is Abdul Kalam. There are other scientists. Or who is have Nobel Prize jitne scientists or who Indians or but the name that might come to your mind is Abdul Kalam. Not just because he's written all these things, but also because of the kind of work he's done. Now, if you are a scientist, if you are a student of science, and if you are trying to explain everything that is happening around the world in terms of science, if you can prove the if everything is uh, is is uh, discussed in terms of facts then it is said it is said that we start creating a distance between ourselves and god ab bhagwan ma teti biswas rakhdaina hare bhanincha ab science padne haru tara abdul kalam le ke bhandai cha bhane even though i am a sign indirectly what he is saying is most of my colleagues most of my friends in the scientific fraternity they do not believe too much in god but i am still a very very religious person why am i religious the the credit of my religiousity the credit of my spirituality goes to my father because when i was growing up these are the things that he taught me so usko science and technology ma usko je kaam haru garthyo teti bela pani ule abdul abdul kalam le usko bau lai emulate garne koshish garthe re he tried to become better than his uh, father and how has he done this he has tried to understand the fundamental truths regarding prayer and spirituality revealed to be, to him by his father ule tyo science ma ule kaam garda kheri ab ule yo missiles haru banaunda kheri ule scientific experiment haru garda kheri usko bau le sika ko kura haru regarding prayer and spirituality yo ule apply garne koshish garek cha in the field of science also now what has he realized he has realized that some divine power exists he has realized that somebody like god is there we uh, divine power bhannale bhagwan sochum so how has he been able to understand that a divine power is helping him a divine power is there to control us to give some meaning to our life how has he understood this he says in the next line it can lift us what can lift us the divine power god can lift us from confusion misery melancholy and failure these are terms used in the book ab abdul kalam le yo kina bhancha bhanda keri i know because i have read the rest of the book i told you when he conducted these experiments when he was given these projects by the government of india and when he was given a certain time frame to complete the project sometimes he could not meet the deadline tin barsha ma yo baninu parcha bhanera government le ulai project deko cha tin barsha ma koi bela usko project complete bhana koi bela tin barsha ma complete bhayo costing a project costing crores of rupees euta satellite banaunu euta rocket banaunu katti kodo garera kharcha garera 4 barsha 5 barsha ma tyo project ready bha jaba tyo rocket launch garyo it became a failure त्यो रकेट एक्सप्लोड भो या त्यो रकेट ने प्रपरली फंक्शन करेन तस्त हो ही केम अक्रस इन हिज लाइफ ही इज टकिंग अबाउट दोज थिंग्स दे वॉज मिजरी दे वॉज मेलैंकली दे वॉज सैडनेस ऊ ऊ फेलियर भो एज अ साइंटिस्ट ही कुड नट मिट दी एक्सपेक्टेशन वेन दिज हेपन ही वुड रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन वॉट हिज फादर टोल्ड एम अबाउट स्पिरिचुअलिटी एंड प्रेयर एंड वेन ही थट अबाउट देम एंड वेन ही uh when he tried to speak to god when he prayed he could understand that that power that divine power that god would lift him up from all these negative emotions and he has also understood the last thing we have said is he has also understood that if man is able to break free from his emotional and physical bonds then he is on the road to true freedom happiness and peace of mind no need to explain this perfect example is gautam buddha lord buddha बुद्ध भगवान को तब तो स्टोरी सुन्न भाग ही वॉज कल्ड सिद्धार्थ वी नो दैट ही वॉज अ प्रिंस ही वॉज मैरिड ही हेड अ चाइल्ड हुज नेम वॉज राहुल वन फाइन डे ही स्टार्टेड लॉर्ड अफ क्वेश्चन केम टू हिज माइंड ही वॉन्टेड टू फाइन दोज आंसर्स नो बडी कुड गिव हिम द आंसर सो व्हाट डिड ही डू वन फाइन डे ही लेफ्ट हिज फैमिली ही डिजर्टेड हिज फैमिली एंड वेन्ट इन सर्च अफ ट्रुथ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लॉर्ड बुद्ध and then he became the buddha 
he sat under that tree he meditated and he achieved uh, uh, enlightenment hamile history books ma padchau aba yo katha timile kosai lai aba maile aajo i am going to search for spirituality mo bhagwan khojnu janchu mo malai aba yo kura haru ko answer chaiyo bhanera maile ghar chhodera gaye bhane nobody will say i am a very nice man am ma ma yo ta bhaykar dharma ko dharmik manche raicha bhanera kosai le ni bhandaina ke bhancha manche le ele usko family lai deserve chhodi rakhera gayo haina mero wife lai bichara bhancha nani har lai bichara bhancha malai sharap cha so what he is saying here is if we can detach ourselves from emotional and physical bonds i have physical bonds with my family i have phys- uh, emotional bonds with uh, my family i have physical bonds with my friends and relatives and emotional bonds with all of them if i can stay separate from these bonds then i am on the road to true happiness and true freedom now why can he say this again because abdul kalam was a bachelor he was not married he did not have any um, he did not have a family to look after and so probably that's the reason he adds this sentence to the towards the end of our lesson the main part is the uh, part regarding the divine power the belief in that divine power which abdul kalam carries because of the influence of his father now with that we've come to the end of the lesson and uh, and uh, i hope this uh, lecture has been able to clear some of your doubts if you read the lesson by your own i can guarantee that most of you will not understand these concepts that are discussed here yo concept haru yo kura haru tapai har lai feri refresh huncha when school opens and when your teachers talk about these things you'll get Uh, refreshed about these concepts and probably you'll also get other view points from uh, uh, different teachers and that is good enough for you now these are samples of uh, questions and hamro yo method bada garda kheri hamile paragraph wise tyo page wise hamile garenau tara yo method bada garda ni you will see that you will be able to attempt uh, these uh, questions tyo tapai le abo you can work out on your own all the answers are there in the screen that we've uh, shown you uh, the the slides that we have shown you these are the short answer questions uh, and uh, short answer question these are the short answer questions uh, again all the answers you'll find in the same slides ani ya mo yo kura pani mo bhanchu aru bela pani maile repeat garek chu wa miss le pani भन्न तैयार जो लेसन वहाँ ले पढ़ा भेक्चर मत मत डिपेन्ड कर क्लास में टीचर्स स्कूल लगे जो लेक्चर दिन दिवस में मत डिपेन्ड कर रेडिमेड आंसर्स पाँन तैयार रेडिमेड आंसर्स यू विल गेट के अरे यो कोचिंग जानू त्यो गाइड बुक कि सब रेडिमेड आंसर्स भी पाँन तब लेसन यूट्यूब तीर भी पाँन तर योग मैं योग मैं तर तेक्स्ट नपरी हो यू मस्ट बी वेरी फेमिलि विथ द टेक्स्ट तब कि पढ़क होता किताब कोई कुरा यहाँ एक्सप्लेन को तर तबला टेक्स्ट में भग कोटेशन आँच एक्जाम में सो दे फो यू मस्ट बी वेरी वेरी फेमिलि विथ योर टेक्स्ट एंड दैट दिज आ दिस स्क्रीन शोज यू द मल्टिपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ये तीन टा मैं अरुण लेसन में पांच थ्री इयर्स को क्वेश्चन पेपर को मैं सैंपल देखाई देखो सो दैट इट मे बी इजी फर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द काइंड अफ क्वेश्चन दैट विल बी आस्ड विथ दिस वी कम टू दी एंड अफ दिस लेसन अब व्हाट वी हैव डिसाइडेड मी एंड द लेडी टीचर तो मिसले हमें के डिसाइड ग्यौं ये अनलाइन क्लासम सब पढ़ा मिलेन भी यही क्लास में धर लमो भैस अब वी आर नट गोइंग टू डिस्कस द द प्ले बिकज इन सम स्कूल्स यू मे स्टिल बी डुइंग दी ओल्ड प्ले चरण दास चोर भाई पढ़ाई रह पढ़ाई रहे कतिवट स्कूल में कैवट स्कूल में प्रपोजल पढ़ाऊ सो दे इज अ चॉइस बिट्विन दोज टू प्लेज सो वी आर नट गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्लेज पोएट्री हमी कम्प्लीट ग्यौं प्रोज को अज एवटा लेसन कर 
uh, we'll do it in some other class. Uh, from the in the next class, we will discuss a little bit about uh, the grammar part of your syllabus. So uh, this is all for today. We'll meet again in the next lesson.